Hi, I'm Charlie Brooks, and I can finally, after four years, <laughs> announce that I am the founder of the U Brand. You is a self-love stimulator that I'm hoping will encourage women to explore their own bodies safely and be unafraid to ask for what they want. I remember Charlie and I were walking through Richmond Park and she told me that she'd had this idea for a vibrator. I thought it was an excellent idea and I loved the fact that she was thinking about the truth of how a woman's body works. the shape of the clitoris and I woke up and I was like Brrr, and there wasn't I was like Ooh. hey this is clitoris then it can it's just about generating the vibration all around yeah the whole way here I was like who's it going to be but I love the story of her I was just saying to her I could the way she told the story I could imagine her waking up at 3am thinking yes this is it it has to be you she just wanted to like make money she could have just made a whole line herself but making it just for you for women I think it's such a nice idea I feel really emotional oh that's nice I do it's just really amazing it's really I really love it Oh, I'm so glad. You're going to have my favorite emotion always my hormones. Sorry. <laughs> it's just, it's like, like seeing it all realized and it's just such a, it's such a, the story is just there. You've just like put it in images. I'm hoping that the story behind how this product came about is what is going to inspire women the most. Little old me who had an idea on my own four and a half years ago had no belief that any of it could happen because I was riddled with self-doubt, has um, managed to pull this together by reaching out to people, asking for help, putting together a team and finding perfect partners to help me bring it to life. The feel of the purple is nicer, but when those motors are working, I think it's going to be a better vibration if it's a bit more solid and you just can need it better. We kind of had no idea, we'd been talking about it a little bit, but yeah, it was really great to see that it was Charlie. So looking at the tech side of it, like I personally would love to learn more about kind of how Charlie went through like the prototype stage, um, how you how you do the tech of a sex toy, that's something I hadn't really thought about before until this event. Um, how you get clearance from it, how you do like the sprints for it, how you do the build. Um, so I thought that was really interesting to see that and to see, you know, when Charlie got out all these little models, <laughs> um, to see it go from like its inception through the build stage to launch was really interesting. We're trying to bridge the gap between sex and mental wellness. It can encourage good sleep, it releases so many good things. The more we can connect our bodies and our minds, the better. And the more when we're getting to know ourselves, we can get out of our heads and into our bodies, the better. Actually meeting Charlie, talking to her about it and seeing like how much passion went into it, I realised like actually Charlie was such an addition to it. She was saying before like there's you know pebble toys and everything, there's all sorts of different designs, but definitely never seen anything like this that kind of goes on the outside. And I think that's really interesting, especially when they're saying like the clit is shaped in a wishbone. I was like, it's genius, like it makes so much sense. It's two years since you delivered that bag um, with the book in, into the office. It's incredible. Oh and now God. we're talking about a launch. <clears throat> it's crazy. Having been uncomfortable in my body for all those years, I just am wanting to get my, to know myself more on an intimate level, not only with my body, but with my mind and my own fears, being comfortable in my own skin. Like, you know, not feeling shame around it. Sex education when I was a kid was non-existent. It was all about don't get pregnant, don't get uh, STD, you know. And actually, if we can get comfortable around these conversations and asking for what we want and being unafraid of that and knowing through exploring, then that sort of takes the shame and guilt out of it. Pleasurable has really been the word that's just stood out today. So it's in my uh, massage just then. And I was just thinking, when do we really give our time to pleasure? And I've just had a baby and there's not a lot of time. <laughs> and I, I never really think of it in terms of 
you know, giving myself pleasure in terms of sexual pleasure as well. That's just, it almost feel, I just realised today that it's last on my list. And, um, you know, I think the stat that Charlie said earlier about something like 1,700 orgasms are missed, it, it just reminded me of the pay gap, you know. <laughs> it's been a great kind of eye-opener to see how women think about pleasure and how much we deserve it and stuff and it's it's you know sexual pleasure is up there with giving yourself you know the time to have a massage or go to a yoga class or even you know just take some time out from work and you know looking after babies or you know helping a friend or whatever and just to give time for you so it's been a real eye-opener. I'm hoping that women will learn to love themselves a little bit more every day. It doesn't happen overnight, it takes time. I'm hoping that women will be unafraid to take action on an idea. Um, I'm hoping that we will make vaginas happy. <laughs>